Hello and welcome. Today we've got eight faulty Bosch batteries. And what we're going to do in this video today is show you a volt check in these faulty batteries. I uh, probably will do follow up videos on fixing some of these, like I have done previously with Milwaukee and other things. However, today is going to be just about volt checking and seeing what that means. I have numbered these batteries so we can identify them because it can get a bit confusing when you have a whole pile of the same type of batteries you just to know where you're at so I have this sophisticated recording chart that I've, I've formulated from a piece of cardboard and a marker uh, Bosch 18 volt over at the top and number them 1 to 8 as you can see so we're going to go one at a time and see what voltage these are I'm going to keep this Bosch charger on standby. This is a blind test. I haven't uh, checked the voltage before filming this. I'm learning what the voltage is the same time as you are. And the charger's on standby so that um, if it is chargeable voltage, we're going to try it on to see. Well, 9.3 volts is not chargeable voltage, so we'll have to leave that one. We'll just have to record that and move on. So that's 9.3 volts, 9.3 volts for number one. And that could be a good deal many things. These Bosch have a fuse on top of them, so it could be the fuse. I'd be well lucky if it was. It could be the whole pack's exceedingly low. I'd be lucky if that was the case too, could bring it up and make it work again. Number two. We'll just do a quick check in it too. And it is exceedingly low. It's 1.8 volts. That's critically low. Now, that might not be a disaster. If all the cells have a fraction of a volt on them, and some life on them and haven't reversed polarity or anything, we could have a pack that's recoverable. So we're holding some hope for the two 8 amps. I better just write what they are beside them. Just so we know. Where we're at with that stuff. Number 3 is a 6 amp. And we will check the voltage of this now. And it is 14.2. Fourteen point two usually tells me that there's dead cells in that one, which is not a disaster because it's a mm, well. We'll try in the charge because fourteen point two can be a chargeable voltage. We might have a good one here. We might have a good one. A good one. That's fourteen point two. That might be good. 14.2 volts, it's a 6 amp. I used to think, I used to be under the false ap misapprehension that if a battery was below 17 volts, 15 volts, I was under the impression that it wouldn't charge below that. But the cutoff point is far lower than I initially had thought. If the battery cells are equal and they're all as low as even 2.5 volts, the battery should charge. So at 14.2 that has a chargeable voltage and it looks like that's going to charge. So number 3 might be good. We could be in luck there. So number 4, I'm glad it didn't stand by because... If it didn't charge, it would usually mean at 14.2 volts or something like that, that the cells, there was a few cells away. Now, number four is less, that's also a six amp. I'm less optimistic about that. Um, it's showing 6.1 volts there. And we're hoping it might be some kind of fuse problem on the top. 6.1 volts. If that many cells are away, it would make me think that maybe it's not worth fixing, but we'll see. Because the 3000 milliamp cells are harder to come by than the 
2500 milliamps or or 3000 or, or 2000 milliamps which are 10 a penny have to have to admit so but less hopeful but number four it's nice to do a wee bit of speculation i can go back later and see how i, how I fared 15 volts right 15 volts this is a 5 amp battery and it's 15 volts which is you've seen from the uh, the one that we have on charging that it might not be a disaster at all it might actually be good we'll have to explore that so let's try it in the charger to see what happens again it's charging that's pretty good so it looks like three and five are going to be good ones that's exceptionally good moving swiftly on to number six we've got 11 volts now as i stated earlier 11 volts is below chargeable voltage there's no way that'll charge in the charger um, I would need to open that to ascertain if any cells away if the fuse is intact and if the cells would happen to be all low and all similar sort of voltage maybe that could be brought up to chargeable voltage and it might be able to be recovered that is a 4 ampere one if cells have to be replaced in that, it's really not a disaster. I have plenty of 2000 milliamp cells. So we'll just jot down 11 volts there. And it's a 4 amp hour battery. So we've got 2 out of the 6 fixed already. And we haven't even done any fixing. So we'll go on to 7. I do enjoy these blind testing because I'm just giving you me thoughts spontaneous thoughts at the time based on what i see just in real time i'm discovering what these are like the same time as yourself um not point not one of a volt i can't get much lower than that unless it was a minus voltage i'm not hopeful for that one that could be either a very very good thing or a very bad thing that could mean that the whole pack is beyond recovery or it could mean that there's a broken connection. So not point not one volt. And that is also a four ampere. So we'll see about that. And last number eight. Number eight. This is going to be interesting. 15.5. Number 8 is also a 4 amper. 15.5. Again, chargeable voltage. Chargeable voltage if the cells are okay. 15.5 volts and it's a 4 amper. This could potentially be 3 that are, that are working. This would be. An unusual haul for a for a faulty range of batteries allegedly. So we've got three out of eight that are actually not faulty. That's that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So one no three, five and eight are not faulty. Three, five and eight are not faulty. You know, um one, two, four, five. One, two, four, six, and seven. One, two, four, six, and seven need attention. So that's the chart there. 9.3, 1.8. Of the eight, what do I think? I'm hopeful for number one. I'm cautiously optimistic with number two. Number three, there might be hope. The one that I'm really, really think it could be 
Could be the easy fix and could be or could be the hard fix depending on what way it goes is number seven. But everything could be recovered. Possibly. Depending on what way it goes. I might be able to get all eight going. I've got a head start, I've got three already going, so if you like that video and you want to see more on this range of types of videos, because I probably will do follow-ups in these Bosch because it's it's got interesting. Give me a thumbs up and check out my channel. Consider subscribing and if you want to if you want to support the channel, there's also a membership thing but costs so much a month. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you did. It's all useful, it all helps.